I'm Michael Mondragon, graphic designer for Nerdy Connections. Today we're going to make a vase in Photoshop. Now you can make a 3D vase in Photoshop now, but we're actually going to do it the old way and try to make it manually. So let's get to that. So we're going to make a vase in Photoshop and CS6 actually has a, a new 3D. Uh, we could actually do this in 3D if we wanted to. Uh, but we're actually going to do it the old-fashioned way and actually uh, do with paths and if we didn't have 3D um, capabilities we're actually going to do it that way so actually I'm going to go to my guides over here I'm going to drag out some guides uh, and I'm going to make a horizontal one as well and I'm gonna actually going to make it a little bit lower on this one um, and up here I'll make it a little bit higher and basically this will be the the middle of my page this is going to be the top of my vase and this is going to be the bottom. And to do this, I'm actually going to go to the ellipse tool right here and I'm going to make a shape. And I have a, a blank layer right here, so I'm just going to make this, double click on that and make a shape layer. And I'm going to click and drag would be the opening of my shape here and you can see it conform to a shape here. I can actually take that shape and I can drag it down here and then make a copy of that. So I'll just put shape and I'll put bottom and I will shift drag down and I, I actually want to make this base. I want to make it um, smaller at the bottom. So I'm going to shift click right there and I'm going to constrain those proportions. I'm going to make that the bottom of a vase. Now my thinking is that I'm going to go back to, I'm actually going to click that. I'm going to make, take this top shape and I'm going to duplicate that again. And I'm going to make this kind of my middle. And I'm going to so I'll name that middle and I'll drag that down. Now I want this to be bigger. So I'm actually going to shift and I'm going to make that bigger. I'm going to put it back in the middle right there. And so I have the top, I have the middle and I want it to be a little bit lower and then I have the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my pen tool here and I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to name this base. So I'm actually going to make these the proportions. So I'm going to click right there. Actually that's snapping to the guide. So I actually want to turn off the snap and that's going to allow me to click anywhere. So I'm going to click and and then I'm going to click and drag my next point right there. So these are, are basically just to show me where that could be. So I'm going to option click and I'm going to take away th that side of the Bezier curves. I'm going to go to the top here and I'm going to click again and that's going to give me like if I click and drag I can actually make that shape. I'm going to option click, take away that side and I'm going to shift, click and that'll go across and it doesn't matter where we are. We're just actually trying to make the shape of our vase here. So I'm going to option click and I'm going to click again and drag. And I want it to be exactly what it is on the other side. So that looks about right. So I'm going to option click and do the same thing right here. I'm going to come back to my original and try to make it as much as I can. Uh, and I'm going to option click and I'm going to close the path by clicking on there. So now if I were to take that off there's what my shape looks like but it creates the illusion that we've got that shape middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that path here and we're going to command click on it and that's going to give us uh, our selection. And what we could do is we can actually uh, with this vase layer selected. We can actually come up here and we can actually select a color and I'm going to just select this red right here. And what's cool is we can actually take the paintbrush here 
and we're going to make a large brush so you see how big that is. And what we're going to do is on that layer, it's a blank layer, we're actually going to paint on top of that layer. So this is, this is what's actually a lot of fun about these things. We can actually make as many layers as we want and kind of layer that so it actually looks like glass. We can actually take over here and pull down the opacity of that. And so we'll just do that. We're going to keep that selection. Let's make a second layer. So we'll do face two. And I'm actually going to turn off by command and put that right off. And on my vase 2 layer, I'm actually going to turn down the opacity of my brush. And I'm actually going to brush this in. So you actually get a neat effect right there. And we actually can get that. We pull down the opacity on that. We actually get a, a really good, and that's almost like it's see-through. And we can actually change this color if we wanted to. Let's make it a little bit, since it's going to be lighter, we can actually select this color up here. Let's make a third layer, and we'll name that base 3. And we'll still have the opacity down there, but we have a lighter color. And we can actually paint in right there. So we actually have a neat effect. And if we turn off the shape of it, and we can actually, uh, the shape middle, we can actually get rid of that. And in the shape bottom, we can actually turn down the opacity. Or actually, that's the shape top. And you can see how we get that effect. Let me hide the selection. deselecting that and we're actually going to cut this part out of it because you can see it doesn't quite get the effect right there. So I'm uh, control shifting so I can actually see my layer. There's the shape layer. So I'm going to command click on that layer and we can actually delete out of the vase. Go to every layer, and then on the shape top, we can actually take that down a little bit more. So this is if I was going to do this in uh, manually. Uh, there's obviously better ways now in CS6 we can actually make a really good uh, 3D version of this, uh, and I highly suggest looking into that. But if you were going to make a vase uh, in Photoshop manually, this is the steps that you would take to do that. I'm Michael Mondragon from Nerdy Connections, and we'll see you next time.